What is going on everybody and welcome to my Cybersecurity Fundamental Series. My name is Colin and today I'm going to be talking to you about red teams. In my previous video I talked to you about blue teams, so now that you know about them, it is very important to understand what red teams are. Let's get right into it. The premise of red teaming is comparable to the old sports saying, the best defense is a good offense. Red teaming helps businesses remain competitive while securing its business interests by leveraging social engineering, physical, application, and network penetration testing to find ways to shore up its defenses. During a red team engagement, highly trained security professionals enact scenarios by revealing potential physical, hardware, software, and human vulnerabilities. Red teaming engagements also identify opportunities for bad actors and malicious insiders to compromise the company systems and networks. Organizations can have internal red teams or hire consultants to assess their security posture. Now we're going to be talking about the skills that effective red teamers possess. Like I said in the previous video about blue teamers, communication is extremely important. You can be the best penetration tester in the world, but if you cannot effectively summarize your findings in a report, changes will not be made. Effective red teamers are able to translate their technical findings to the language of management. Red teamers need to take on the role of the enemy and think outside the box to really uncover the flaws in an organization's security posture. Also, red teamers need to be, able, need to be persistent. Some situations may present a serious challenge to these teams, but these teams have to be persistent because in the real world, attackers will keep trying until they get in. I'm going to be talking about this later in the series, but advanced persistent threats are simply not going to give up until they achieve their goal. Strong technical skills are also very important. Red teamers build their technical skill sets through on-the-job experience, certifications like the OSCP, catch the flag and hack the box exercises, and through study at a university. I'm going to be providing some resources later. Now, most people have heard the term red team before, but it is a pretty broad term that encompasses all offensive security professionals. I'm going to break it down and explain their main functions. Red teams perform many functions, one of which being the vulnerability assessment. Another red team function is the penetration test. Penetration tests are assessments that aim to identify security flaws and exploit these flaws in the same ways that malicious actors would. Next, we have red team engagements. Red team engagements are full scope adversarial attack simulations. Not only do they test your organization's systems and physical security, but they test how your blue team will respond. Now I'm gonna share with you some of my favorite useful resources. Like I mentioned in my previous video, Cyberry is a great source for free courses. The courses they offer range from beginner to advanced and they will help you hone in your skills and learn more about a new topic. Certifications like the Certified Ethical Hacker, the CompTIA Pentest Plus, and the OSCP will help you learn more about offensive security while bolstering your resume. As far as YouTube videos, I really like the content that Hackersploit and Davy Rogers produce. They both do a great job at explaining the important tools, so I would definitely recommend checking them out. As far as podcasts, I really enjoy listening to the Red Team podcast. The host Yuri has a lot of interesting conversations with Red Teamers. As far as books, I, would, I have listed some of my favorite and the most popular books, and I will link them in the 